Welcome to Vlogmas Day 2. Ignore all the mess behind me. I've had the weirdest day. Like, honestly, I went to bed at about... I don't know, just gone 10pm last night. I was absolutely shattered. Do not even remember falling asleep. Like, I must have knocked out the minute my head hit the pillow. And I woke up at, like, 2am with a banging headache. And I was so dehydrated. So 2am would be 5am back in Kenya, which is kind of the time I was waking up. And I was dreading that happening. Like, I was really hoping I wouldn't wake up at that hour. And obviously, I hadn't had enough sleep. But I was really dehydrated as well. So... I had some water and I went back to bed and then I woke up at 3am and I still had a banging headache and I just like you know you just feel really like I, f I could feel a migraine coming on I don't very often get migraines at all anymore in fact touch wood I don't I haven't had migraine for a few years but I could just feel it coming on I felt really hot inside I felt like I couldn't breathe I felt suffocated I felt a little bit sick I had ice cold water and that was kind of helping a little bit so I sat on the sofa with a glass of ice cold water I took some paracetamol but I was just falling asleep and then I fell asleep on the sofa with my glass of water in my hand that whole thing tipped over onto the rug that woke me up and I had my parasites on my other hand, which I woke up with it still in my hand. And then I was like, oh crap, what do I do? It's like 4 a.m. And I found some towels to put down on the floor because I couldn't get to my mop bucket. Um, it was on the balcony and everything's like, all the windows are double locked and stuff like that. So I was like, oh my God, like how do I get to the mop? I'm such an idiot. Then I got some more water fell asleep with it in my hand again and then I was kind of like drifting in and out of sleep but it wasn't it was just very very weird I just feel so weird this whole jet lag thing doesn't happen to me very often but this time around it's super weird and I hope today was the last of it I've literally done nothing all morning I've put one load of laundry on I have like four to do I haven't unpacked any of my suitcases all my stuff's all over the place normally by about this time, so I'm doing my hair, um, I would have done all of it. But of course, I've been sleeping all day and now I'm rushing around because I have tons of things to do today. And one of the things includes editing yesterday's video and uploading it in the next sort of five or six hours, which I don't see happening. I've just come out of the shower, washed my hair and we're gonna go out for some lunch because Jas is working from home today. And then for the rest of the week, he's not here which means I'll be having lunch at home anyway. So we thought we'd go out today. And also we have no food in, so, you know. One of the things on my list today is to do a food shop, obviously. Um, all I have in the house is some oat milk because I always buy long life oat milk. And I had it in the fridge from before we left so I could have coffee. And now it's like almost midday. Right, so I've just put a bit of product through my hair. Um, I've got a little bit of concealer on but to be honest none of my makeup matches me at the moment anyway and I'm not getting anywhere exciting so I'm not gonna bother. Jas has just got back from the barbers but one thing I really want to get done today is my eyebrows like I'm so fussy about my eyebrows I never let them grow for like longer than a week but I find that hair grows just a lot faster in the sun and oh my god I look super hairy I can't believe I'm zooming into this but my eyebrows are disgusting right now and I always just feel like so much more like f human feminine I don't know like I just feel so much better once they're done I don't think I'll get a chance to go today but on the off chance that I do that'd be great <coughs> I still feel a little bit headachey so I don't want to push it but fingers crossed I get something like productive done today that'll be great <laughs> oh my god it is so nice and sunny today isn't it Jess very sunny but very cold as well I could That's deal with happen. winter if it was like sunny like this every single day but it is now 2.30 we're going to my favourite vegan cafe for lunch and I'm so hungry Jess yep. I could literally eat like a horse well, and a vegan but cafe. it's vegan <laughs> <laughs> wait here for parking okay here for parking and then I don't know Oh, I need the location number. <laughs> their falafel here is so good. And I've always wondered if they make them or if they're like bought because they're um, always so uniform. But look, I can see her making them there. Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. Their falafel are the best. Chas got the same as me, he's kind of working 
and I love their coffee and walnut muffins. That's the only like dessert they do that's like nice. Everything else is a bit gross. But when this place called Ahimsa, which is in Penna, and it's so so good here. Oh my god, lunch was so good, so full. We ended up sitting there working and I've edited almost my whole video, but now we're gonna move the car to a different car park because it's free in Sainsbury. Oh, I'm totally freezing. And we'll sit in Starbucks for like an hour until it closes at six. No, hour and a half until it closes at six. And hopefully I'll get my whole video oh, edited. By then, I even got a takeaway of falafel. Um, my cousins and I always wonder if we can just get the falafel to take away. So I asked her today, because their falafel are like the best falafel I've ever had. Better than any like Lebanese Mediterranean restaurant. Just look at that. They're massive, aren't they? Yep. Uh, £4.50 for six isn't bad, is it? Mm, don't know. They're massive, considering the size of them, and they're fresh. And what a pound each, though. They normally sell like five of them with some hummus for four pound fifty as like a starter or a side, but I, was like, I don't I don't want the hummus because I can you know get that myself. Oh, um, so she threw in an extra falafel, but they're massive. They're so much nicer than the supermarket. Once they, they they like make them fresh for you. So I was like, that's my lunch for the next two or three days sorted, which is great. It's so cold outside, but do you know what? This is like my perfect winter day. It's been so like crisp and cold but it's sunny like if all winter days were sunny like i don't think anyone would, would really have a problem with it there's like no rain either it's perfect and now in starbucks i stopped off at a charity shop on the way and i found this really nice dress by a brand called wolf and whistle which i'm not sure like i, I feel like their dresses are probably quite pricey and it was kind of in my size a nice color it was a pleated like midi skirt thing on the bottom of the dress which is so me the top half was green though so it's not really a color that i normally wear it's kind of my size and it's only eight pounds in the charity shop but i don't put the charity shop by the way so i don't find anything that fits me or what i like but you know you're like dying for a wee that you can't try stuff on and i wasn't sure if like they were one too small and obviously in charity shop people like sometimes alter things so i don't want to like risk it and buy it but i'm kind of regretting it now anyway i'm now in starbucks <laughs> It's oat milk back. Yeah, oh yeah, probably not. Oh, Starbucks like ran out of oat milk for like a month or two before we went on holiday. And they kept telling me it was discontinued, but they had like some sort of like problem with it and had to record it. Anyway, so anyway, I'm dying for a Starbucks. Two things. First of all, the Christmas cups are out. Second of all, this is my first Starbucks in like well over two weeks, and I am dying for a good coffee. Look at this. Oh yeah. Are you excited? Hey, even your screen says red cups are back. Good. <laughs> I'm not browsing the Starbucks by the way. It actually comes up as a part of the hot This is so exciting. You guys know how much I love a good star. I never get a small, but it's too late in the day for me to have like a big coffee. So, a small it is. managed to do a pretty big supermarket shop 
so I'm very happy with that. I'm so annoyed, I saw this like sloth hot water bottle and my little cousin Anusha loves sloths. Like she has earrings, jewellery, notebooks, mugs. She has everything with sloths on it and I really wanted to buy it for her. I went to check the price at the till but it was full price. So weird because every other animal <laughs> was reduced and this one was still full price. It was like the only one and I was like, do you know what? I'm not even meant to be buying for her because we're doing a secret Santa this year but I just wanted to buy it. Anyway, I need to go home and upload this video because I finally finished editing and the Wi-Fi and Starbucks wasn't very good. So yes, Vlogmas Day 1 will be up on time, Jas. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I don't know where the evening's gone, honestly. We got back from like doing the food shop at seven o'clock or maybe a bit before that. My bed is still covered in clothes. I'm drowning in laundry and I've just spent, it's now like gone 9.30. I spent all evening online shopping. I've bought loads of Christmas presents because today is Cyber Monday and obviously we weren't here for Black Friday so I completely missed all that. And I've been watching like Instagram stories of people posting like loads of affiliate links and things like that and I suddenly remembered it's Cyber Monday so I ended up online shopping and it's taken me so long. My plan was to make like a really nice dinner and like a salad but it's like now 9.30 so Jess just ordered a pizza from Domino's and we just thought we'd just quickly eat because like he needs to leave for Manchester with early in the morning so he normally goes to bed by about 10 p.m the night before and it's coming up to 10. our pieces just arrived and the guy's like forgotten half the order so i'm hiding in the bedroom while jess is on the phone to domino's shouting at them but i'm starving like it's so stupid there was no point in doing a food shop because like we're not eating any of the food that we just bought and it's a bit annoying because it's jess's only night at home like he'll be eating out for the rest of the week I can hear him shouting on the phone. He'll be eating out for the rest of the week because he's working in Manchester. He's forgotten the potato wedges. And now the pizza's gone cold as well because the guy was like outside for ages. Like we could see him walking around the street looking for our door number, trying to flag him down and he just wouldn't like, he just couldn't see us. Basically they've cocked it up, but I'm gonna go and like see what's going on, have dinner and try and do a bit more laundry if I can. <laughs> so I'll come back to you in a bit when things have calmed down a little bit around here. Okay, so at least we have pizza. What are these two boxes, Jess? Cookies and Chicken wings on one of them. Oh, so we're missing wedges. Are they bringing them back? Yeah. And they got us, we didn't pay for the big dip, did we? What? Did we pay for a big dip? No, they got it free. Oh, woohoo, I was gonna say, that's such a waste of money. Um, I mean, it is good, but like, you know. Oh, oh, Domino's cookies. That one looks like it's seen better days. What the hell did he do? Run my cookie over. <laughs> What? Oh, that's where chicken wings and we got pizza and we're gonna catch up with the apprentice. Yes. Is three loads of laundry done out of four? Good night. <laughs> I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> oh, it's Monday night, which means Jess is leaving me in the morning before I even wake up. I hate when you work in Manchester. For Manchester, it's gonna be colder for me. It's gonna be boring and lonely for me. All I'll have is my vlog camera to talk to you, Jess. I'm out. It's so sad. Hi! I'm so tired, I can't fall asleep. I have to take my contacts off and my makeup and all the rest of it. But I'm going to call it a night here because it's like, what, almost midnight? Can you tell me what time it is, please? Just! Just! Am I stroking the duvet? Just! What? Is it morning already? Oh, blimey, that's quick. Didn't feel like I slept. Can Look. you please tell me what time it is? I do not know. It's bedtime. We don't know what time it is. Last time I checked, it was like. Night, night half 11 it's been a long day i still haven't like finished unpacking so that's what you get to watch tomorrow night but yeah thanks for watching and i will see you tomorrow for maybe tomorrow actually i have nothing planned loads of errands to run so i might see you tomorrow for vlogmas day three
Say bye, Jas. Bye, Jas. You won't see them until Saturday. See you on Saturday. Tell them how much you'll miss me. I'll miss you. <laughs> Make it sound convincing. Oh, no. Jas, at least pretend you right, like I'm pretend me. I'm going to miss you. Bye. <laughs> Make it sound convincing. How do I do it convincing? Okay. Just pretend you Good like night. me. I like you. Okay. Good night. Great. This is what I'm married to you guys. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Say bye. Good night. Good night. Say bye. Say bye. Say bye. Bye. Good night, everyone. <laughs> bye. I'm going to sleep now. Don't disturb me. <laughs>